I think I just found one of the easiest ways for you to build SQL AI chatbots to talk to your database. Not only that, it's an AI SQL generator for easy database management, which also is open source under the Apache 2.0 license called Chat to Database. Chat to Database can easily enable you to connect all your data sources and instantly generate optimized SQL queries with AI to gain fast, actionable insights. It's a great way for you to easily chat with your database where you have fast insights from your data with the help of AI. Chat to Database is a cross-platform AI database client. It's an AI SQL generator which is used to generate and optimize high-performance SQL queries using natural language. You have efficient SQL coding with AI where you can write complex SQL queries faster and more accurately with AI assistance. You can create table automation where you can let the AI generate types, keys, comments for tables and seconds. You can even import and export different types of data sources like CSV files, you have SQL and other formats. And lastly, you have the ability for database migration where you have the ability to migrate data across databases or even cloud services with minimal downtime. With Chat to Database, you have lightning fast insights where you can gain key insights through AI-driven SQL queries, charts, and complex reasoning. Not just that, but you have AI-powered dashboards where you can instantly create real-time dashboards for operational efficiency, which is just really convenient. And this is where it is also gonna allow you to simplify data processing and analysis by leveraging AI for Excel files. You also have it so that AI understands your database, where you can customize business terms in AI columns, comments, and enable optimized SQL generation and advanced AI-driven data analysis. And what's great is that Chat to Database provides various sorts of databases from MySQL all the way to Database2 and many other options. To get started, you can easily install their installer for your operating system, which will easily install Chat to Database. You can go ahead and install it for whatever operating system you have. In this case, since I have Windows, I'm going to go ahead and install it for Windows. But if you want to install it through their GitHub repository, you can also follow through with instructions, which showcase how you can run it with Docker. And it also focuses on the system requirements where you need to have Docker, Docker Compose, the CPU requirements, as well as the RAM requirements. And then you can also have it so that it is ran as a runtime environment. With the following instructions but my personal choice would be to use this installer as it's going to be a bit more easier for you to get started with they also have a web-based version which is where you can use their cloud platform to get started and this is actually a great way for you to easily use this on the web without you even installing anything but if you are to install this onto your computer this is what you would see once you have installed and opened it up this is where you're going to be greeted to the main dashboard on the left hand panel you have your workspace that you can manage. You have your dashboard. You have the ability to use an AI chat. You also have the ability to integrate plugins. And lastly, you can even have it so that there's multiple people collaborating within your team or your workspace. So first things first, what you want to do is add a connection. You can either add a new creation or of a connection to all of these different providers for your database, or you can import connections. Now let's say we're gonna add a new connection with MySQL. Go over to this tab, click on MySQL, and what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to create the new connection by filling out the connection information. But you wanna set your ENV, you wanna then set your storage, host, port, and all these different configurations. And afterwards, you wanna then download the drivers. And this is by simply going ahead and clicking on this button, which will say download drivers. And then after you have filled out all the fields, you can then click on test, and once that is done, you can then see that the test connection is successful and then you can go ahead and click save. And then you're going to be able to then access your database that has been now connected from MySQL. And there we go. We now have a connection to our database and you can see that we have all of our demo data available. Now, first things first, we're going to need to create an AI collection. So you want to go over right click on this folder over here and create an AI data collection. And we're just gonna name this something as a demo. We're gonna then affirm. And afterwards, what we're gonna do is we're gonna then select the correct uh, database. So in this top right corner, you can actually select 
the database that you want to work with. So in this case, we're going to work with the demo data. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. And afterwards, you can actually select the tables that you want. So if you want to work with these different table values, you can select the ones that you would want to work with, and then you can sync the AI data, and then you can add it to this demo database. So then you can affirm, and then you can sync it to the AI data collection that you just created. And this will take a few minutes to finish. So you can now see within our demo, we have all of these different categories now available. And if you want, you can go ahead and you can actually submit comments. So you can add a comment. This is the category name, and then you can go ahead and click on submit. Then what you can do after you have all your different AI data collection ready, we're gonna go ahead into our main console. And this is by going over to our homepage. You can then click on create console, and then you wanna press in slash, and this will allow you to use the text to SQL feature. This is where we can have it so that natural language generation can be used for SQL. So we can say, list out the different uh, customers. And then this is just like a random prompt that I'm sending in, but we can then have it selected to the AI uh, demo data that we had created. We can then allow, and then we can go ahead and click, click on enter. This will then list out the different customers. So we can see that it created the SQL query for that. In the same manner, you can do the same thing for listing out the best selling products. We can then go ahead and click enter and it will then categorize the best selling products for us, the query for it. And what you can also do is you can head over to the dashboard tab. And this is where you can generate dashboards in natural language. So we can give it a name, let's say best selling product. And then we can go ahead and click on confirm. And then you can click on this AI chart button, which will go ahead and enable us to generate a chart for our data. So you can go ahead and type in, and then you can select our demo data again, you can affirm, and then we can send in this query. And what it will do is it will work on generating an AI dashboard based off of the prompt that we had provided. And there we go. It was able to output the visualization of the prompt that we wanted to showcase, which is the best selling product. And in this case, Chat to Database was able to generate different graphs. You have a bar graph, a pie chart, as well as showcasing the best selling product for us. And say if you wanna generate a specific chart, you can go over to new chart and then specify the different types of charts that you would wanna showcase to visualize your data. The main thing that I wanna mention is that when you're generating these complex SQL queries, you also have the ability to have chat to database explain what it is generating. So in this case, you can see that it is going to describe what it had generated. And this is by simply highlighting the different sections of the code or the queries that it had generated. And you can also even have it use the SQL optimizer, which is where it's going to highlight how AI clarifies query logic and structure and shows how the tool optimizes SQL queries for better performance, which you can see over here. It is writing down a couple of suggestions given to optimize this query, which is just really convenient and helpful. With Chat to the Database, you also have an AI table copilot where you can generate test data. So for example, this is a folder with different tables. So we can go ahead and we're gonna right click on this and we're gonna have it create a table. Now you can go ahead and you can essentially Click on this table copilot. So we can just simply write customer and then we can write in a column name. So we're gonna go ahead and put in the customer ID, name, gender, date of birth. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna send in this request. So it's gonna use the table copilot to create this table query for us. And then afterwards, what you can do is you can actually run and create the table SQL statement. And to handle intricate table structures, you can go ahead and right click on any table and you can generate test data. And essentially you can then have it so that this can handle intricate table structures so that you get better visualization and generate how you can basically see the test data of the table that you had provided. And you can execute generated SQL commands 
to insert test data directly into your database. Now, you also have the ability for AI-driven data analysis. If you go over to AI chat, you can click on this top left button within this panel, and you can go ahead and you can either create an AI chat with your Excel type, or you can create a chat through Excel tables or a database type. So you can go ahead in this case and upload your demo data. And what you can basically do is you can chat with your data. So you can have it so that there's text to SQL. You also have the ability to use the SQL explainer or the optimization. And you can basically talk to your data in this particular tab. So in this case, I'll just showcase a demo where we're going to request it to create a student table that includes name, gender, age, home address, and a phone number. And you can see right away, it does that for you. And you also have the ability to use the explanation, the optimization, as well as the dashboard generation. All four features that can help you use AI for AI-driven database analysis. And that's basically the gist of chat to database. There's actually so much more to this, so I definitely recommend that you take a look at their GitHub repository. But remember, they have an open source version which will cover most daily development and deployment needs. It's perfect for developers who want a solid, reliable option without breaking the bank. But if you're someone who's looking for more advanced features, their pro version is available at an affordable price which is why I definitely recommend that you take a look at it with the link in the description below as I'm especially sharing a 20% off discount code in the comment section below. So make sure you grab it while it lasts so that you can access all the features with chat to database with this pro plan. But essentially, it's a powerful tool that connects development teams to all data sources and it's going to ensure accurate and unified data access with the help of AI. It actually enables real-time sharing of visual dashboards for effective team decision making and bridges the gap between developers and operation teams by providing secure database management and actionable insights with the help of AI. I definitely think that this is an ideal solution which is open source and it's something that you can get started with today. So I'll leave all the links in the description below so that you can easily get started. But with that thought guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure you take a look at Chat to Database with the links in the description below. Follow me on Patreon, follow me on Twitter, and lastly, make sure you get subscribed, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous, previous videos because there's a lot of content that you'll definitely benefit from. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.